Look at those gorgeous seed pods and the seeds. I just love this dispersal mechanism. Wind! And they're just so fluffy so that the wind can carry them. And then look at these beautiful, healthy seeds. This is Asclepia syriaca, common milkweed. Oh, there's still a little milkweed bug on there. We're gonna do two things here. We are going to have the wind do the wonderful job that it does on seed dispersal. And we are also going to collect some and spread them directly in a few beds and look over here there's a couple more we don't have a ton of pods but you can see I took some off that and I left some and I shook some out look at them stuck all over those plants it's awesome yes I hear you all common milkweed is not easy to keep going it's not always easy to establish and you would think the opposite. You're going down the road, it's growing wonderful along the roadsides. You're like, man, no problem, I got this. And then you get back and you sow it and then you never see common milkweed. And what we learned is common milkweed really doesn't like a lot of competition. And if it does have it, then there's a mowing schedule that works well for common milkweed. It seems to be able to compete well with lawn grass, so even European grasses, that's what I'm talking about, that have grown up on the roadsides because it has a mowing schedule that keeps out other plants that common milkweed doesn't seem to thrive amongst, which is some of these, at least what we've experienced, more aggressive natives like the goldenrods and the asters. As soon as succession takes place and the European grasses go away, then it seems like the common milkweed goes away. Except, and here's the good news, those seeds right there can lie dormant for a very long time in the soil. So we had a flower bed out in front of our house that was not even golden rods or asters. It was just other plants, native plants. And they got thick and common milkweed said, I'm out, I don't like it. And when we weeded those plants out this spring, to put some other plants in there, we found out that these common milkweed seeds were alive. They germinated everywhere. It was so exciting because we learned something. And so this year, we are going to sow these seeds in some spots, which we have yet to determine, but I will share once we do. And then we will not let other plants grow in there. We are going to baby this patch of common milkweed. And I think at that point then, we'll be able to get a really strong thriving patch that will hopefully be more resilient if some other little seeds fly through the wind and establish in the bed. And then Steve and I will just keep tending it. While we're here, we are going to keep common milkweed thriving. And if we learn some new techniques that I don't know yet, I'll let you know. So now though is the time. Get your seeds and then also remember that these need some cold moist stratification. And so we're not doing that in the refrigerator. We are just going to do it out in nature. And so we will sow the seeds soon wherever we're going to do it and then let the cold and the moist work into the soil and then stop the dormancy of the plant until it just start growing in the spring.